My boss said you're the man for the job. But I'm unavailable. You have 10 seconds to change your mind. I'll give you five seconds to remove your hand. Jason Statham is back as Frank Miller in Transporter 3, and he says reprising his role involved a tremendous amount of physical preparation. It's one of those situations where if you don't train and don't get yourself in a, in a, a fair amount of shape, you're uh, susceptible to you know, a lot of injuries that can take place because these, you know, sometimes there's a lot of takes and a lot of the action sequences are, you know, very demanding physically. Statham is returning to another popular action role this April in Crank 2 High Voltage, and we wondered if he would consider taking on a different genre of material in the future, such as a romantic comedy. It depends how much money they want to pay me. <laughs> Last weekend, the animated animals from Madagascar escaped to Africa, where the kings of the jungle and the box office earning more than $63 million. This weekend, secret agent James Bond will be using his license to kill to try and take down the cuddly characters. Sorry. Gone such a short time, already forgotten. Who could forget 007's impeccable style and quantum of solace? The super spy is part of an elite club of movie men who've inspired the average Joe to storm clothing stores. They see the Daniel Craigs of today, they see the Brad Pitts. Gentlemen can certainly take their cues and have a rich history of well-dressed men in the movies to choose from. Jonathan Kennerick owns the popular men's boutique Jake Vintage in Los Angeles. He's dressed everyone from Brad Pitt to Kiefer Sutherland. Right here we have our selection of men's trousers. Kennerick says movie men have been setting real world trends since at least the 1930s. We just gotta get through these four Christmases as quickly and as painlessly as possible. That's disgusting. Oh my God. Reese Witherspoon and Vince Vaughn are a couple who try to skip out on the holidays, but end up having to celebrate four Christmases. We, you know, kind of play with all the traditional family dynamics that everyone can relate to, and we push the envelope with it and have some fun with it. That fun includes some painful family secrets. Cootie Kate. <laughs> Who's Cootie Kate? Ha! Ah, cooties! <laughs> Am I missing anything right now? Just the knowledge that every minute spent in your company becomes the new greatest minute of my life. Rhino may be Bolt's biggest fan. We have before as a legend. But the man behind the hamster has brought the stories of Tarzan, Chicken Little, and Meet the Robinsons to life as a visual development artist for Disney. Amazingly, I was in the right place at the right time, so uh, yeah, it's, 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 it, it is a huge dream come true. Be awesome! <laughs> You've been doing the scratch dialogue for us, which means it's just a temporary thing, and eventually it will be replaced by the, the real actor. Yeah. We realized pretty early on that he was irreplaceable. He, he was, so was Rhino. I only said it'd be better if we weren't friends, now that I didn't want to be. They're young, so to speak, and in love, but they have one major problem most couples don't have to worry about. Are you afraid? No. There's something sort of sweet about the vampire having to withhold. He can't bite her. He wants to. Well, I just want to try one thing. It's sort of like the 50s, you know? He, he, you're not supposed to have sex, you know? So he's holding back, and that there's this pure love between them. You are my life now.